you need to convert this entire thing into a plus b whole square right so if you compare the first term x square if that's the formula if we compare the first term x square with a square so we are done with the first one next we need 2ab so 2a a is x b is something you need to choose so that overall this thing is equal to 6x because we have to compare the for, for, with the first equation both of the equation will will have to be the same one right so to make it 6 we have to take 3 so it's like x square is here 6x is also here but in a different format so that we can actually rearrange this thing into this formula format so a square done 2ab done next you need b square so b we have selected b we have selected 3 so that's why it's 3 square right but the point is 3 square wasn't a part of the initial line so i have added this extra thing so i have to to balance it out to make it zero i have to use minus 3 square so that overall it's zero you will never cancel it out i'm just showing that overall this effect is negligible I, why did i actually add 3 square because i need b square so i needed 3 square and to cancel that out i i, I will have to add minus 3 square so it's like if you compare with the first and then a plus 20 over here so a plus 20 okay so x square is here 6x is here but in a different rearranged format then overall this is 0 and a 20 so as you can see the first and the second lines are equal okay both of these lines are equal so i have arranged this entire thing now i will just substitute them into the formula so the first three term remember to take the first three terms only so a square 2ab b square so a square 2ab b square you can replace this entire thing using a plus b whole square right so a is x b is 3 so a plus b whole square you are done with this thing the entire uh, box is within this thing x plus 3 whole square and then you have minus 3 square is 9 plus 20 so the final line is x plus 3 whole square plus 11